this. That beach is unbelievable. But let's get set up, chill out and admire this amazing coastline. What a spot this is. <laughs> Class, isn't it? Beautiful. Don't know why, like, not many people do van life in Spain. Uh, yeah, during the summer it's harder because obviously there's loads of signs and they're saying you can't park in certain areas. But like, during the winter, it's, the weather is amazing. And you've got just a couple of vans in, that's it. What's in it? What more could you want? Do you want a beer? I know. Yeah. Top's off. It's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> Snowing back at home. Oh. Dad bod out. <laughs> it's warm today. Very warm. Annalise has already set off to go down to the beach. Um, but it's dead good because the way the park up is, I'll just show you now. She's already part way down the hill. But there's our van. And then the park up is literally, you've got this little path here and there's the beach. It's like perfect. I do need to go back up because I forgot my water shoes. I knew I'd forget something. Yeah, go here. It's quite nice here. Chill out. Let's go snorkeling. Well, that was a bit of a fail. <laughs> I went in and it's just like, like little pebbles for miles and there's not a single fish in sight. Little confession. We have just woke up from a little siesta, keeping in with the Spanish tradition. But let's show you around. Feeling fresh after your nap? I am, yeah. I'll tell you what though, it has got a bit busier here, hasn't it? It's got busy, look at all the vans. You got the best spot, look at that. She looks good there, doesn't she? Come on, <laughs> she does look good. We are in like a proper lovely area here, and it feels like we're in like an urbanization, but really for second homeowners. We're in between, Villayosa and Calador, slap bang in the middle. A day, yeah. Not a chance at alert, <laughs> that one. <laughs> so, this is where we're heading. We just noticed on the drone shots. There's actually caves, so it looks like there's caves in the side of this like mountain face. So we're going to see if we can get round to them, but first, let's see if we can get to the top of that.
Unfortunately, guys, we can't get to the top of that rock because there's someone's gate there and a house, so I think it's private. But we can get round to where these caves are. We're going to head down now and see if we can actually get directly to the caves. Be careful, none of them fall off the edge of that there. Because that's crumbling, that. That will not last two minutes. You see a big crack going all the way up. That. Come on, Bill. There we go. <laughs> she must think we're absolutely nuts. Places we take her. Uh... Holy crap. Quite scary, that, to be honest. See, there's the caves. Look at that. Yeah. I know, that's what I mean. Have you seen all the cracks all the way up? <laughs> yeah, let's get going. Cool, though, isn't it? <laughs> I always have to be dead careful because I'm clumsy and I'll just go right on my bum. <laughs> Don't know if anybody else does this. I do it all the time. And uh, do you do it? Actually, thinking about it, I don't know if you do it. Oh. When you see like a derelict house mm. or something that's like fixer upper. Yeah. I always imagine in my head like what I could do with it, what walls to take down, how to do the roof, everything. Uh, I wonder where I'm going to put the field. <laughs> I think we're in need of a project again, aren't we? Definitely. But I'll show you this derelict house down here. You could do a lot with it. Check it out. You could fix her up that. Be lovely if it's done and it's right near the coast. Nice, isn't it? Mm. You could definitely do a lot with it. That looks lovely, that. Look at all that cheese. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, I'm eating this. See you in the morning. Well guys, we're heading off to our next spot. Whoa, that's where we're heading to now. So we found another cracking park up further south. Let's go. and all the way down the coast is just full of camper vans and motorhomes massive lorries that have been turned into like camper vans it is crazy now there is loads and loads of spots along this road so Jordan's just gone out on Turbo Grandad to see if there's anything better but this is a lovely spot so I'm just gonna crack on put some dinner on the go because we're absolutely starving <laughs> Zipping around everywhere on Turbo Grandad. Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> Anything better, or is this the best no, one? No, it's all full. Is it? All the way down, it's full. Um, and then there's a car park just back from the, the sea, and even that's got quite a few campers in. So oh we're God. lucky to get somewhere like here. Look at that. It's leaking all over my hands. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> that is mega, isn't it? Let's get doing some fishing. <laughs> Welcome back to another series of Jordan goes fishing and doesn't catch anything. <laughs> oh my god, Lily, there's so many new smells. Come on. We are not used to this. It's chilly today, isn't it? Yeah. It's so we're not. Yeah, we're not too far from Santa Pola and the temperature has just gone 
No, I'm only joking. It's because we've been used to like 22 and it's about 16 today in overcast. 17. 17, exactly, yeah. <laughs> so we're feeling it. That's two jumpers on, that's ridiculous. You don't even have that on in Cairn Gorm, so it's like minus 16. So this is the area that is just a little bit further down. This is where we want it to be, but it's full. But if you look, everyone's got like their own little bag. So change of plan. Just as we've been walking down further towards Santa Pola town, city, the place. <laughs> <laughs> We've come across loads and loads of like park ups, so we're gonna go back, grab the van, come for a drive down here, carry on with the fishing segment. Yeah, definitely. Because I am catching me a fish tonight. <laughs> they must get some wind here, look at them trees. A little bit of a better vibe here. Fishing 2.0 continues. Time for a big shark match. We've both been at it for about half an hour. Still no fish. <laughs> Well, it looks like another failed attempt <laughs> of not being able to catch anything. But I will be going to a fishing shop and getting some proper stuff and then I will catch. Maybe there's just no fish in the sea. There's fish in the sea. If you, even if you have to put the snorkel on and like bear or one will get one out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go far though, you're attached. <laughs> Look at that sky. For those of you that have seen me riding around on Turbo Grandad, this is the DYU A1F foldable e-bike. Now this bike is actually surprisingly good. I like the little pad in seat on the back. It's also got lights as well, so it's got a brake light and a light at the front and a horn. We use it a lot for taking the washing. It's got disc brakes, front and back. It's 100% foldable. The handlebars drop down. The seat drops down even the pedals fold in and this is it fully folded you basically turn it on and you rev to go what's really good about it is if you don't want to you don't want to pedal you can just rev it and it'll go and then i think after seven seconds it's got a cruise control me mechanism type thing in it so when you're driving and you're, you're, you're revving at full throttle, after seven seconds, it'll just automatically keep going. It's actually quite quick. So you can pedal it slightly, get it into that higher gear and it flies along. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. And the fact that it folds away and goes straight underneath the bed, just makes life easier, doesn't it? So if you haven't already got an e-bike, I suggest you go and have a little look at one of these. Because they're absolutely cracking. <laughs> 